Let's talk about the end of page 1091. <clears throat> Here on page 46, there are some shapes that are a combination of several shapes, and you are to find the area inside them. So I've written one up here that's on your homework, and uh, let's kind of work through it together. I will warn you, there are a lot of formulas that by this point you need to have memorized. So like the area of a circle, pi r squared, area of a triangle, half the base times the height. You need to know, of course, the area of a rectangle is base times height. Uh, what else do we have? Trapezoid. So that would be uh, the sum of the two bases, add them together, and then times the height, and then divide by two. Um, parallelogram, I think there might be, which is the perpendicular height in the base. So all of these formulas you need to, by this point, hopefully be very confident with. I would make a, uh, make a chart and just uh, practice um, rehearsing them. Try to narrow it down to the couple that you're not as confident, and then uh, you know, practice, practice, practice. Okay, write them out, memorize them. All right, this will really help you. <clears throat> On the test, self-test and pace test, they do not have the formulas listed, and so they do expect that you have them memorized and can apply them. Let's talk about this figure here. I don't have my calculator, so I'm not going to finish. I'll have you do the problem, the finishing the problem with your calculator. But we have a triangle here. So let's remember that it's base times height divided by 2. Well, the base of this triangle is 4.5, and the height is 2. So we're going to do 4.5 times 2 and divide by 2. OK, so you'll do that on your calculator, and that's this number. Now, what is this height right here? I believe the, uh, let me just check back here, make sure I'm not, yeah. So the nine does not go all the way up. The nine stops right here, okay? So this area, oh, that's pretty easy then. It's just nine times 4.5. And you can calculate that with your calculator, all right? So that's a rectangle, that part's easy. We have another rectangle right here. So this entire height is 4.5, and this length is 4.5. So this is a square. So we're going to do 4.5 times 4.5. So far we have the triangle, rectangle, square, and now let's talk about this half circle, okay? We know that the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. Two things here. One is it doesn't tell us the radius. We have a diameter. But if this whole thing is 4.5, then if I cut it in half, from here to here is a radius, right? Just like from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here. So these two radii together make up a diameter. So if we take 4.5, and divide by 2, get 2.25, that is the radius, okay? You see that? Half of the 4.5 is the radius. Now, that is what you're going to plug in here for the radius, 2.25. Now, remember what squared means. You're going to multiply it times itself. And then pi, we're going to use 3.14, okay? When you multiply all that together, you would have the area of a complete circle. Do we have a complete circle? No. We have half a circle. So once you get the answer to that whole thing, you're dividing by two or multiplying by one half, however you want to think about it. It's a half circle. <clears throat> so you're going to have one, two, three, four calculations to do. And then you add those four answers together, and you have the total volume. It'll be a decimal number, okay, for that problem. Same thing happens on uh, here on page 46, number one, number three, number four. You have all these separate shapes, and you need to think of each of them, okay, and their formula, and calculate the area of each piece of it, and then add them together. All right, I'm looking ahead to the checkup, and if you know those formulas well, you should be able to find area, know your circumference, <clears throat>
And uh, self-test, you're going to have to go back and do some constructions like we did earlier in the pace, copying angles and making a, a right angle from a point, constructing a line parallel, again, by copying angles. Uh, make sure you re review those terms, like the difference between equilateral, scalene, and isosceles, things like that. Um, so there's a mix of just terminology and formulas to memorize, and then there's some problem solving, and there is the constructions with your protractor, um, compass, and straight edge. So I hope you do well on this test.